So it's sort of hollow underneath, but that's what gives it the illusion of having a little bit more body and fullness. This is something that I had seen, I believe in an Instagram ad, which they've really been getting me lately. Um, but this is called the Pony-O, and there's not a ton of videos or reviews about it. So I saw a couple, and it seemed to work for regular people like it did in the ad. So I went ahead and decided to give it a try. Um, so this is the Pony-O, and it's like a rubber-coated um, metal ponytail holder, so it doesn't you know, like I always have my elastic on my wrist uh, if it's not in my hair. So it's not elastic, it doesn't stretch at all. It just kind of like holds its shape as you form it around. And so the way you're supposed to use this is that you pull your hair through it like you would the elastic band and then you like flatten it and kind of bend it into like an upside down U shape. And that gives your ponytail a lot more uh, like body and height because usually I hate doing ponytails because it just looks kind of limp and floppy. Um, I have a lot of hair but it's fine and so it doesn't always look great, um, especially all summer. You know, I usually have it pulled back and usually I just do like a low ponytail but if I ever try to do one up high it just looks disappointing. Um, and then I actually got this as a set with this other piece which is called the Bun Bars. Um, so it's similar kind of material, it's like a flexible, um, there's obviously some kind of metal in here, and then it has a little bit different textured rubber coating. I got both of these in, I believe, the color Sandy Beach, which I thought would match my hair the best. Um, but let's give these a try. I've tried something similar to the bun bars before, but it wasn't rubbery, it was like kind of covered with like a hair-like material and it was sort of like two slap bracelets put together and once you had them in your hair you kind of like snapped them shut and rolled it up. So um, these will be interesting to try. So I'm gonna try the Pony O first and I'm gonna just turn around so you can hopefully see what I'm doing. So you gather your hair into a ponytail and this is gonna be real messy in the front by the way. You pull it through the ponyo, and then you're gonna uh, clamp it together and bend the two ends down to sort of form an upside down U shape. And hopefully this looks on camera like a real awesome ponytail. It's definitely securely staying in. Um, actually, now that I say that, it did feel like it kind of loosened up, although how often do I fling my head around like that? I don't know. Um, here it is from the back. So maybe what I'll do is I'll um, do an actual ponytail, like brush my hair the right way and do a ponytail um, with my elastic band and then compare it to this guy and I will insert some pictures for you to see. Hey, I'm going to attempt doing the ponyo here and hopefully you'll have a little better view of what I'm doing. And also I'll be able to brush my hair. So um, first, just for comparison, here is my hair in a regular elastic band ponytail. So a little uh, limp and loose. I guess it stays in okay, but elastic does eventually kind of stretch out and um, you know doesn't hold your hair as firmly for as long. So now we will switch over to the Ponyo band. Let me take this out. So this one doesn't stretch, you just kind of form it around your ponytail and kind of lock it in place. So same thing, I'll form the same kind of ponytail, put my hair through it, and then I think the goal is to kind of um, form it into like a, a flat line of hair and then you sort of bend the ends down sort of like an upside down U shape so it's sort of hollow underneath but that's what gives it the illusion of having a little bit more body and fullness so I guess here's how that looks 
I will say the Ponyo is made of rubber and it doesn't really feel like it's going to fall out, but also it's a little heavy because it's made of rubber and metal. So I don't know, hopefully you guys can see like a difference in the volume and appearance of my ponytail. And then the other product, the Bun Bars, um, kind of a similar idea. You take your hair all together, put this, um, put your hair between the two layers of this thing, kind of pull it out to the ends, and then forget if you were supposed to roll over or under, but then at the end you kind of just fold it all together, and you probably have to kind of fiddle with it to like work your hair around it, but in the end it would look like a bun. And actually this one, I can tell you, it's like very heavy <laughs> uh, feeling, especially compared to some of the other like bun forming things that I've tried. So I don't know if I maybe just pulled it too tight or, I mean, it definitely is like a heavier product just being rubber and metal. But I'll try these in like a separate demo <laughs> if you want to see. So the other thing I'm going to try is the bun bar which is like two layers of a textured um again kind of rubber coated metal they're held together with like a joint at this end and you put your hair between them roll it up and then form it into a bun shape now i've used a similar product um I've used this thing which I'm not sure what it's called but it's a similar kind of idea it's basically two like slap bracelets that curl up on their own and they're covered with like a hair like material which I like because if you don't cover every inch of this with your own hair it doesn't really it's not like there's some other material showing through this looks like hair this one I've tried it a couple times now I'm not really able to cover over the whole thing and there's very obviously like a piece of rubber sticking out the end so I'll do another little demo of this one here and show you how this one turns out I'm just gonna try and flatten it first it does get a little kind of lumpy and wavy as you use it but uh, same process so you'll gather your hair at whatever level actually you might want to do it a little lower more like where you want the base of the bun to be the lowest part of the bun and then you put it through this thing and kind of spread it out pull it toward the end sorry I'm just looking in the mirror to make sure I don't pull too far now here's where I kind of fall apart because the hair starts coming out and also I end up with all these ends that like don't really get formed into the bun. But then you start rolling it up and then you fold the ends under and you're supposed then to be able to cover over the rest of it with hair. So I just feel like this doesn't look as realistic because it doesn't really form itself into a circle. You have to sort of manipulate it and I feel like that's not as realistic of a bun look and also I mean I have long hair but it's like it doesn't all stay in so just for comparison and not that it's a ton better but I'm going to try this other bun former slap bracelet dealie just to show you the differences and why I think I prefer this one so number one the bun bar is made of rubber which I guess is good because it kind of secures your hair in place but also that means that your hair doesn't really glide through it so like doing this step of pulling it up to the end of your hair um, it kind of gets stuck and then this one also forms itself into more of a circle as you you know when you snap the bracelets together so I know this is this is a little sloppy because I literally just threw it up here, but you can see already it forms like a much more realistic, round, nice looking bun. Just for fun, and of course I didn't catch it on camera, I tried the other bun maker one more time uh, and started with my hair up in a ponytail first, just a regular elastic band ponytail, but that really helped to hold it in place as I rolled the 
the bun maker up and also you can see there's like a little gap where I know my hair is not covering but you can't really tell because again it looks like my hair um, it did come with like this little booklet of how to's so it does have um, I guess this is just the regular instructions for doing a pony o ponytail then there's also this one for doing what I would have called a topsy tail because I'm from the 80s and 90s but they're calling it a butterfly style and then they also have instructions for the bun bars oh okay there's the perfect bun and the big bun so those are the instructions that it comes with and I'm sure they have other tutorials for other styles and stuff online so overall I think the pony o is a neat idea I think the bun bar probably could use some work. There's some better options out there. Um, you get two, either two ponios or a combo ponio and bun bar for $20. So this is basically a $10 hair tie. I don't know if you know one of these is the equivalent to $10 worth of elastic bands, just considering convenience. Um, but that's up to you if you want to give it a try, give your ponytail a little bit more volume and oomph, then uh, maybe give the ponyo a try. I just figured out what wearing the ponyo reminds me of. It's like when you have a bar barrette in your hair and it gives it that kind of like spread out effect. Um, so I guess if you like the look of wearing a barrette, it's a little more convenient than that because it's more, you know, rubbery and manipulative manipulatable and it, it probably stays in better if you have more fine hair or you know smooth hair uh, but that's that's kind of what it looks like actually I just realized Sorry, one final addition to this never-ending video, but I wanted to mention that one of the selling points of the Ponyo is they say it doesn't crease your hair. I've had my hair up in it for a couple hours now, and you can see there is like a definite bend in my hair where it was, so it will crease your hair after a while. Maybe not um, as sharply as an elastic band would because it's a wider thing, but it does still leave a bend in your hair.